All right, hey, it's Rob, and uh, I don't have something that was found in a wall. I have a piece of the actual wall itself. This fascinating little item was an invitation to a party at a place called The Record Plant, which was one of the, and still is, the top recording studios in the country. Uh, the Record Plant, uh, you could find them in New York. There was one in Sausalito, California, where Fleetwood Mac recorded rumors when they hold up there for a year. And this one is the one that started off in uh, Los Angeles. You can see the address there, uh, 3rd Street in Los Angeles. It's a TJ Maxx now. Don't bother looking for it. Uh, they've moved to uh, Sycamore Street as of the mid-80s. Anyway, so they had a hip and happening party. It says right on there, you can uh, dress in your bells, ribbons, satin, and spangles. There you go. Gotta love 1969. Anyway, so the idea was they would, I guess, mail this or get this out to you. And this brick invitation was actually the final wall they had to build at the recording studio on 3rd Street there in Los Angeles. And it should have a name on the bottom of it. This one does not. It may have been a spare. I worked at the record plant in the late 80s. And somehow this came into my possession. Uh, there was a big box of junk in the back of the studio. I thought they were going to throw it out. And one of these old uh, invitations was sitting in it. So uh, that is the story with this very cool brick. When you went to the party, there was a brick mason dressed in a tuxedo who would slap a bunch of mortar on there and stick it up on your wall. And I guess this lived in the studio uh, until they moved, like I said, the mid 80s. I know they had a fire at one point, but uh, I'm not sure if any of them were damaged. Uh, not sure how many of these are still around. I can't imagine too many after all this time. Uh, when I worked there, I had the prestigious position of parking cars at the record plant when I left college, and then I moved up to be the midnight to eight janitor. It was quite a promotion. Anyway, uh, that's when I came across this thing, but uh, during my time there, Bonnie Raitt did her Nick of Time album, Guns N' Roses was recording there, uh, Rod Stewart, uh, Crosby, Stills and Nash, I believe, we even saw Millie Vanilli, I parked their car once, and I parked Iggy Pop's Hyundai. So there you go, very prestigious indeed. Anyway, uh, so this little cool thing here was an invitation to a party there, opening night at the Record Plant Recording Studio. And I've had it for 30 years. I don't think it's going anywhere, but I uh, just wanted to share it with you. All right. See you later.